Okay, everyone. Hello. It is Equitation Princess. I am doing a video for Horsey How To on how to wrap a horse's tail. Um, this is uh, not a temporary wrap like what you do before a show, but more like something that you leave in for like a month or two. Just to keep their tail like in the winter if you live somewhere cold. It's a good spot because a lot of times in the winter their tails can just, I don't know, get really t messy and tangly. And you know, we give our horses kind of the winter off. And so we're not out every single day to ride them and stuff and brush them out. And so this is just easier so we don't have to take care of their tails because we want them beautiful for the summer, spring, and fall show season. So we wrap them starting when the flies go away all the way through the winter until flies go out in spring and then unwrap them. So you want to change this wrap if you do it in the winter about once every month. Um, my sister has a pant and he has a really thin tail and so she changes it quite often actually just so that she can shampoo the tail up or whatever that she wants to do and then put it back in and it. And so, um, yeah, so here we go. You're going to want a brush. You're going to want to take all the tangles out make sure it's really clean. Like either don't use any spray cleaners but more like use like just normal shampoo and water or just water maybe and make sure it's completely dry before you start anything. Okay, so here we go. Okay, back. Um, I braided his tail. You start two inches from the tailbone, and you braid really, really loose at the top. Well, tight enough for it to stay in, but loose because it's gonna be wrapped anyway. So it's not gonna like the braid's not gonna like come out. But and then get tighter as you go down. Never get like super tight, like you know, like you're like actually like you know really pulling to do it. But you know, just get it a little bit tighter. And then I had a lot of extra because his tail is not very like straight. It's kind of really layered. And so I just put it in a little bit on the bottom. So now we are going to do the polo wrap. One whole roll of, of wrap, depending how thick your horse's tail, but his is extremely thick. And so I'm going to have to use, well this isn't really a whole one, but I'm going to take it out anyway. So, excuse you. So, you know, here. Now what you want to do is depending how long it is, you're going to have to fold it. I fold it once in half. Then you tuck this, not like in the braid, but kind of like under it. And you start in the middle with the pole wrap. Or not the pole wrap, the vet wrap. Did I say pole wrap the entire time? Okay. And you keep going all the way around. Working your way down first. You kind of start more towards the top, but then kind of go up. Or go down. <laughs> okay. Make it tight. And then work your way all the way back up. And then you know, trim, if you have extra wrap left, then trim it off, and then, I'll just, well, let's just say that I went all the way up to the top. Okay, so now, you kind of want to like, there. Okay, so now the tail is wrapped, and I kind of left a little bit open on the bottom because it's kind of hard to go up, and sometimes that falls out. So if you just like kind of go round by the bottom, it's much better. And then his tail is completely wrapped. And then we leave it in for a month, you know, take it out, clean it again, and then put it back up. <laughs> so it doesn't hurt them. It's two inches from his tailbone. And as long as it's not like pulling, make sure it's real loose up there, you know, it's not like pulling at his tailbone. Everything should be well, and your wrap should work out perfectly. Hope you you enjoyed this video from Percy How To and Expectation Princess.